This is Echo 3, and let's discuss what's wrong with my rocket. In the vehicle assembly building, let's cover a few of the basics before we start diagnosing issues with different rockets. Every rocket needs a control point, whether it's a command pod, probe core, or even the command chair. This acts as the reference point for what is up and down and left and right for the rocket. Many of these you can right click on and change how that part references what is up and down and that can be useful depending on the needs of your rocket. Let's throw on an engine. Now on the bottom left of the screen there are three icons. One to indicate the center of aerodynamic pressure with the blue icon. One to indicate the center of thrust with that pink line. And one to indicate the center of mass with that yellow and black ball. In order for a rocket to be stable, the center of thrust needs to run through the center of mass, and this includes for space shuttles as well. The center of aerodynamic pressure needs to remain behind or below the center of mass for the rocket to be stable, otherwise the center of mass will want to fly in front of the center of aerodynamic pressure and the rocket will tumble. By putting a few fins on this rocket, I have moved the center of aerodynamic pressure and made this rocket stable. You need to account for fuel draining as well, uh, otherwise the rocket could get unstable that way. Now I'm going to throw on a parachute. Notice that the game has changed my staging for me, thinking that the parachute should be the last stage. This can be useful, having the game automatically put the staging for you. As always, check your staging. Depending on the needs of your rocket, you may need to stage things differently or in a different order than the way the game automatically sets it up for you. This is easy to just drag these parts as needed. You can also click the plus or minus buttons over there to add or subtract stages depending on the needs of your individual case. Every rocket that has a command pod needs a pilot. Now you could put an engineer or a scientist in here, but they will not have the ability to maintain stability like a pilot will. And different pilots and probe cores have different levels of stabilization, or SAS as the game calls it, with a higher level probe core and pilot able to offer more stability options. Let's diagnose some issues. Let's launch this rocket with Jeb and see what happens. Oh no! We staged our parachute at the same time as our rocket engine. That didn't work out well. Would that ever happen in real life? Actually, it did. Daredevil Michael Hughes launched his rocket last year in February of 2020, and it seemed that the parachute deployed the same time he launched his rocket, and ultimately he lost his life due to this staging mishap. Fortunately, we can revert the flight and we can just rearrange our staging here at the launch pad and correct a mistake like that. Now we'll let's launch again and see what happens. It looks like our center of mass is still not in line with our center of thrust, still causing issues. But Jebediah is okay. He will live to test out another rocket and we can hopefully learn from our mistakes. Let's test out this liquid fuel design and see what happens. All right, we hit the space bar and, and nothing happens. Oh, because it's a liquid rocket, we need to throttle up. So we can either use the control and shift keys for the throttle, or we can just press the Z key to automatically go to full throttle. So in this case, if we throttle up our rocket, we notice that it has been staged and is working properly and goes up. Well, that worked out better this time, didn't it? It is important to note that with liquid fueled rockets that you have to actually set the throttle. Now there is a setting in the game where you can default that the rocket is automatically at full throttle when you deploy the rocket. In this case, I didn't do that. I have it set to zero throttle when I deploy the rocket, but that is a setting that you can change and hopefully not make this mistake in the future for you. Well, this is an interesting rocket. It certainly doesn't get us to space. Let's try something else. Let's try this rocket and see if we get any further. 
My staging looks correct. Let's throttle up and launch. So far things, well, we're starting to flip out of control. What, what's going wrong? What, what, what did I do wrong this time? All right, let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and straighten this out. Notice that my nav ball was brown when I tried launching the rocket. That means that my control point was upside down. I can either right click on the probe core and reverse the control point or I can just flip it upside down, which is what I did in this case. Now we can try launching and it looks like it's working correctly this time. This is kind of what happened with the Proton rocket. Uh, one of the sensors was put in upside down and the rocket lost control and flipped and crashed. So if you mess up launching rockets, you are in good company with real rocket scientists. All right, let's try this one. My nav ball is blue, my staging looks correct. Let's throttle up, hit the space bar and go. Things look like they're working pretty well until now we're losing control. All right, what's wrong with this rocket? I, you know, we've, we've done a lot better. Let's diagnose our issues. Well, if you've noticed from before, my fins are clear up there at the top. Probably what happened is that my center of aerodynamic pressure is in front of my center of mass. And well, this isn't gonna go well. Sorry, Jeb. Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and change a few things. Now let's just go ahead and move these fins down lower on the rocket. And that should fix our issues with the center of aerodynamic pressure. Also, let's go ahead and switch out this engine. I have the Reliant engine on there. It's a nice engine, but let's put the swivel on there. The swivel has a little bit of gimbal. That'll allow the rocket to steer better. So when we move these fins down and with an engine that has some gimbal, the rocket will be able to correct itself a little bit and we should have a lot more stability. Let's try launching this again. All right, hey, this rocket seems a lot more stable. We're going up and we can start doing a little bit of a gravity turn and see what happens. Everything seems to be functioning so much better this time. And you notice, you can see the engine tilting a little bit as we, we turn. That's the engine gimbling, helping us turn this rocket east and a gravity turn is the best way to get into space. And I have a video detailing different gravity turns and the best way to get into orbit. Now it looks like we are doing pretty well. We got a lot of speed, but we stage. Are we gonna make it into orbit? The key number when you're trying to get into orbit is you want your orbital velocity to be about 2300 meters per second. While this is going pretty well, it looks like we could come up short in order to reach orbit. Yeah, we are a few hundred meters per second short from getting this rocket into orbit. Now this was a wonderful attempt, but let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and check a few more things. Now this rocket has plenty of power. Our thrust to weight ratio is very high. Really about 1.3 at the pad is all we need and we are well above that. So we could actually add just a little bit more fuel to this rocket, just like that. And if I look at my thrust to weight ratio, I notice that it is still higher than 1.3. So this rocket is in excellent shape. Now the numbers down there are in atmospheric delta V and really you need about 3,400 meters per second of vacuum delta V in order to get into orbit. And you can see my delta V numbers there with my Kerbal Engineer readout. We look like we're in very good shape. Now, let's try launching this thing and see what happens. We are starting our gravity turn. Everything is stable. We have control with the gimbaled rocket. The fins are keeping our center of aerodynamic pressure behind our center of mass. And 
our center of mass remains in front of the center of aerodynamic pressure even as the fuel is drained. Now we are almost out of fuel on our first stage. We will finish firing it and then we will decouple and fire our second stage. Now I'm looking for that number of 2300 meters per second and that's, that's basically what you need to, go, to get into orbit around Kerbin. And you can also see my numbers there with the Kerbal Engineer readout. But we can look here and we have successfully got this rocket into orbit. We also have enough fuel to deorbit this rocket and go home. I am Echo 3. Thanks for joining me on this discussion about what is wrong with my rocket. If you have any suggestions for future content, please leave a comment and I will see you next time.